If there is one thing that many dislike about several current high-end phones, such as the iPhone 14 Pro, it is their excessive weight. Foldable phones are significantly bulkier, which is understandable considering their hybrid nature. According to a fresh report, the Z Fold 6 may follow in the footsteps of the iPhone 15 Pro Max and Galaxy S24 Ultra in terms of weight reduction. Apple and Samsung's newest flagships feature titanium frames, which not only make them more durable, but also lighter than their predecessors. And believe it or not, the use of titanium not only reduces gadget weight, but also makes them feel lighter than they are due to the lower moment of inertia. We aren't going to go all sciencey on you here, as all you need to know is that the Z Fold 6 is rumored to have titanium sides. The rumor comes from Tech underscore Rev, who has lately become the go-to source for leaks about unreleased devices. The Z Fold 5 is one of the best foldable phones available today, but at 253 grams, it is pretty heavy. Of course, the weight distribution makes it feel less thick when unfurled. When unfurled, however, it feels a touch bulky. Thus, if Samsung has indeed decided to switch to titanium, we can expect the Fold 6 to feel a little lighter. The difference may not be pronounced though, but that would be okay, as the Fold 5 was also a little lighter than the Fold 4. Titanium will most likely make the foam stronger, which might help Samsung meet its aim of selling a large number of foldables this year as one of the factors that deters consumers from purchasing a foldable phone, aside from the price, is perceived durability concerns. Moving on, it has actually been more than two months since the launch of the S24, and Samsung's focus has now shifted to its next generation foldable phones, the Z Flip 6 and the Z Fold 6. These two phones will bring some improvements that users have been demanding for years. According to tips to Crow Row, the Galaxy Z Flip 6 will be available in two models for the first time. One with an Exynos chip and one with a Snapdragon CPU. If this information is correct, it will be the first time an Exynos chip is used in a Z series smartphone. The Exynos 2400 is a significant improvement over prior Exynos CPUs, and perhaps Samsung assumed it would not present problems in thin Galaxy Z series phones. According to the report, the Galaxy Z Flip 6 will have 8GB and 12GB RAM, which is an improvement over the Z Flip 5. However, not all locations will receive the addition with 12GB RAM. Storage will be limited to 256GB and 512GB variants, just like last year. The leak also claims that the Galaxy Z Flip 6 will have a longer battery, which could be due to the rumored 4000 mAh battery. More importantly, the report says that the Z Flip 6 cover screen will have a 120Hz refresh rate. The phone may run Android 14 based One UI 6.1.1 out of the box. And finally, let's kick off this Samsung weekender with some exciting news. Currently, the main focus of tech enthusiasts and Galaxy fans is only on the rollout of One UI 6.1. Right. So the most awaited update for eligible Galaxy devices is just around the corner as the Korean tech giant has started notifying its users. Samsung, on the other hand, has adopted Google's seamless update strategy. Yes, you got that correctly. The recently announced a series phone, the A55, enables seamless upgrades. The S24 and other older devices may not be able to take advantage of this great feature. Without wasting time, now let's dive into the Samsung Weekender and have a look at the One UI 6.1 release date seamless update support, leaks, and rumors about Galaxy Z Fold 6 FE, the upcoming micro-led Galaxy Watch, and more. They will also begin the rollout of the Android 14-based One UI 6.1 update for nine Galaxy devices including Galaxy S23, Galaxy S23 Plus, Galaxy S23 Ultra, Galaxy Tab S9, Galaxy Tabs 9 Plus, Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra, Galaxy S23 FE, Galaxy Z Flip 5, and Galaxy Z Fold in China on March 28. They are again preparing to unveil its first cheap foldable, which is likely to cost $800 in the United States and might be released in October alongside the fan edition Galaxy S24. Their aims is to release the Galaxy Watch with a micro LED display in 2025. This forthcoming wristwatch may be termed the Galaxy Watch Ultra and the use of an LED display will provide more smooth and relevant images. So, 
feel free to express your thoughts in the comments area below. Keep an eye on our channel for additional developments. Until next time, goodbye.